Make sure there's an internet connection and enable Bluetooth on your phone. Launch the DJI MIMO app, select camera and tap authorize to connect the gimbal via Bluetooth. You can slide up and down on the right hand side of the interface to switch shooting mode. Tap the shutter button to start taking video or photo. Tap the playback icon to preview photos and videos as soon as they are captured. View and delete as needed. Tap the camera icon to switch to selfie mode. Frame the subject with your finger and the gimbal will enable active track to follow the subject. Drag the exposure bar up and down to increase or decrease the exposure. To fix the exposure, hold the yellow square box for a couple of seconds to lock the exposure. You'll see a small lock icon bottom left of the box to show that the exposure has been locked. Tap the zoom icon and toggle to zoom in or out. Tap the auto icon to switch between auto and manual modes. Tap the quality icon to set shooting parameters. Tap the settings icon to adjust various parameters in the current shooting mode. Choose your gimbal mode. You can choose follow mode, tilt lock mode, FPV or spin shot. Select fast, medium or slow follow. Click auto calibration to calibrate the gimbal and follow on-screen instructions to recalibrate your gimbal. Set side wheel mode to zoom if you want to use the side wheel to zoom. Or set to MF manual focus to use the side wheel as a manual focus wheel. Control joystick speed by selecting fast, medium or slow. Tap the general icon to see general settings. Scroll down to quick launch and enable if you want camera view to appear as soon as you connect the phone to the gimbal. You may have to enable precise location on your phone settings to allow this feature. At the top right, you'll see info about remaining battery life on both your phone and the gimbal and the SD card capacity. Thanks for watching.